guys now is about the zip so here yeah, i have two invisible zips that's what i'll be needing for this and also i'm gonna have to mark out where my zip is going to stop at the upper part of the body is here one inch above the upper base and then that's exactly at my under bust i have already made a notch on both sides and i also notched my one inch sewing allowance so that i will not take more than or take less out of it please if you add any sewing allowance to this make sure you're taking out the exact amount i even went ahead to iron mine down so what you are going to this you pick up your zip this is the right side of my pattern as you can see this is the wrong side this is near my allowance stops i'm just trying to make you guys to see it this is my allowance to down here that's where my allowance is guys i'll pick my zip and then i'll place it the right side of the zip to the right side of my material and I'll place it at exactly at the beginning of my sewing allowance as you can see this is my sewing allowance you see so I'm going to make sure that the middle of this zip aligns with it even at this end then I'll go ahead and pin it down So that is how you pin it down all through to the end of the zip. So you see, very simple. So if I'm sewing now, I will just sew at exactly here down to my to the end of the zip. Sorry, I took the zip a bit higher. You know, I told you guys that this zip is stopping at just one inch above my bust so when you pin it down you then go ahead and sew it down now this is the easiest way i do my this is the easiest method for me you can also try another method that works for you as well So guys, when you pin it down like this, you go ahead and sew on this line. You see, you sew down on this line to the ball, to the end of the under bust. Then if I'm done sewing on this line, the next thing is to flip it over like this. And then by doing so, I'll bring my, my cup area. You see, we are going to be placing it right side to right side. To the fabric but first of all just sew this one down and i'll show you guys how how it looks and how then we can attach the second part the second part yeah so guys i've gone ahead to add the second side of the zips as you guys can see i added it just at my sewing allowance i didn't tack or add model so after this the next side of the zip like i told you guys the next side the this side you pick your side front and then you first of all place it like this and make sure that they are of equal length and then you pin it down at this point So after that, you take your zip and then you place it. You place your sewing allowance to align with the zip. As you can see, this is my sewing allowance. So I'm trying to adjust it. Then I'll go ahead and pin it down too. Then I'll also adjust this place. And then I'll 
I'll pin it down also. This side too. I'm trying to fit it in so that it will not go above my sewing allowance. So I'll continue to pin it to the end. So this is the cup area. And then you have to pin it all round. So when you pin it, this is what you are going to have. So after pinning it, you can then take off this pin. Because this pin will just to make sure that they are equal at the base. So you don't take it to your machine and you will sew starting from here. You sew like this to your under bust and then you stop and check to see if you have made any mistake or you have taken more than your sewing allowance. So guys, I'll do it quickly and show you guys. So guys, as you guys can see, I've joined the zip. I've also gone ahead to sew down these parts. So, but only this is what it looks like inside. And then for the outside, this is it. So the next thing I'll be doing now is to attach my yoke for the front. So guys, I'm going to play this right side of the yoke to the right side of the main fabric and then i'll pin it down i'll pin it all around and then i'll sew by half an inch i will also pin this side too and sew by half an inch so guys i've gone ahead to attach the yoke and also I've also joined my lining. So to attach the lining to the bust here, this is how it's going to face the clothes. Okay, so what you do is that you pick this place and then you pick the center of your main bodies. You align them together and then you pin it down. Mm -hmm. and then you also pin it round so you put you pin it all round and then you sew by your half inch you sew it down to the ample area you sew it down to this place so when you finish that, you also come to this side and do the same thing. And also pin it down from here. And then you sew it down to your ample area. So guys, I've gone ahead to use the lining to turn the yoke. So this is what I have inside. So it's left for me to iron it down properly so guys make sure you iron especially the cup area make sure you iron it properly when i'm done with this i'll go ahead and iron mine so guys you know that this has zip here and also here and this place is closed as you can see it's closed so if we leave it like this then it means that the the use of the zip is of no use so what you are going to do about this is that you flip over here and then you losing only the eye the the lining you lose it from here to the end to this place and you also do the same thing so when you lose it like that i'll show you guys how to sew it inside so that it will still be covered and neat as it is and 
when you open this zip area, the mother will be able to breastfeed the child from this zip. Yes. So guys, I've gone ahead to lose one side. As you can see, I lose just one side. So I want to show you guys how to turn it in through this way so that there will be an opening at this area for the zip. So what you are going to do after you must have lose it is like you remember that we have the added one inch sewing allowance. So this our allowance is what we are going to use to turn this particular place. So what you are going to do is that this center front, as you can see, this is my center front. This area is my center front. And on the main fabric, this is this area is also my center front. So you then take pick your lining. This is the edge of my lining. And this is the edge of my, uh, my center front for this part. So you pick your center front fabric like this. And then you pick your lining. And then you flip it over like this. Flip it over. And you pin it down. We are pinning the center front lining allowance to the center front allowance on the main fabric. We are pinning it together. Remember, it's the allowance for the center front main fabric. And then we pin it to the allowance to the lining. Yes, we are going to sew the two together. I'm going to sew it down by half an inch. So guys, this is the rough work. You need to do it gently so that you will not mess up your work. So after pinning, this is how it will look. So you then go ahead and then sew it down from here by half inch till the end. And then we turn it open again, you see the outcome. So guys, I have joined this part. I will then go ahead and show you guys how to join the center front also. I want to repeat it again so that you guys, in case you did not see me very well, then you'll be able to see it very well. So when you open it up, this is the zip. So, and this is the center front. This is the center front. And this is the side front. When you open it up like this, you find out that this side seam is going to the uh, side front. And this seam allowance is going to the center front so what you are just going to do is to join this seam allowance to the center one and join this seam allowance to this one but first of all you have to join the center front on first so you pinch this place turn it over pinch it and turn it over don't mind my this thing this is a hard gum stay and I couldn't get the clothes there and it's just messing up my work. So this is just for tutorial. I just want to show you guys. So when you pinch there and then you pinch the seam allowance, the sewing allowance that is about the side of the center front as you can see, then you will turn it like this. You turn it over. Okay. You will turn it over and then you pin it together.
here, then you still go ahead and push this ones inside so that you can be able to pin it down. And please, if you are sewing, you should be sewing exactly on this zip so that the place that will be visible at the end will only be the center zip. So you go ahead and pin it all round. Pin it all round till the end and then you sew it by sewing it on the zip. Sew it on the zip. So guys, I've done, I've finished joining the center front as you guys can see. I've joined for the both side, the center front. So when you finish, this is what this side will look like. As you can see, it is closed. So then I'll then go ahead to join my side front. The same way, this one will be much easier than this one. You will just flip it like this. And then pin it together with a zip. Pin the allowance together with a zip. So guys, just go ahead and pin it down and then sew it out. Sew it down, I mean to say. You sew it down and when you turn it over, you'll find out that this place here is now covered. It will just appear like this part. So guys, I've done everything for the zip part. I've concluded with the zip. So now when you open it here, you will then be able to you see that it's very clean. So guys, make your own even much better. So this, this is what I have. And also for this part too, I have done it. So when you open it, you find out that here it's locked in. So that's it for the zip. 